योग कर्मसु कौशल Uh, hello everyone uh, myself is uh, dr kishore kumar siporia i'm working as a professor and head department of physics uh, veer narmad south gujarat university uh, surat uh, surat gujarat state so today's uh, uh, talk is on the material science and the civilization uh, so when we look for the science it means that there is no course in science or engineering which may remain the uh, static so the dynamicity is a property of uh, science and engineering or we can say any other branch of uh, uh, what can say uh, uh, sciences so due to the dynamicity uh, it will increase the scientific understanding uh, of the phenomenon and sometimes the people are saying that the science is nothing but it is a new knowledge the dynamicity will give the advancement in the technology and the periodic revisions and the efforts will make a newer and newer change in the uh, science as well as in the technology so the dynamicity uh, will also increase the uh, optimize the vision uh, for the new things and the new things are to be required for the better uh, tumor so you can see that if we look for the history of the uh, human uh, the newer and newer development has been uh, taken place in the world and nowadays we are living in a very comfort uh, zone uh, so uh, for the reason or we can say the platform for this development in science and technology is rely on the materials so in this uh, lecture we'll try to understand that what is what are the materials then it's very easy okay if we look around the many materials are what you can say uh, with nearby to us okay i'm using this uh, computer so computer screen computer keyboard and the other things they are made from the material i am sitting on the chair the chair is also made from the material i am using the table so the wood is also a material so our clothes are also made of material our homes are also made from the material they use the glass windows vinyl sliding these all are the examples of an materials so metal silverware ceramic dishes bacteria even the virus and the even the earth okay they are made from the material so we are looking if everywhere the material material and the material so most of the things are made from the many different kinds of material so this material world is comes from the matter and the matter world comes from the matru so when we are looking for the universe the all in the universe all the material uh, everything is made up of an material okay so when we are looking for the materials uh, what do we mean by when we say the material material can be a metal the examples of the metals are the aluminum uh, copper the uh, steels steels are as an alloy the nickel titanium so when we look for the metal it also incorporated the non metal alloys and so on. so the ceramic is an another example of an uh, materials so in the case of the ceramics you can see that the clay is a material silica glass is also a material alumina alumina is also a material the quartz is also a material so nowadays we are using the ceramic on a larger scale by the same way if you look for the uh, polymers the polyvinyl chloride the pvc teflon Uh, various plastics the different type of the glues which may use for the adhesive the kevlar so these are the examples of an uh, polymer so polymer is a one important class of an uh, material by the same way when we look for the composites in the case of the composites the natural wood synthetic wood uh, the sunmica formica carbon fibers the different type of the resins the concretes so all are to be considered it may comes in the group of an uh, composite 
So composite, composite is also a one important class of the uh, material. By the same way, when we look for the semiconductors, so all the semiconductors are also to be uh, considered as a uh, uh, material. So you are aware that in the case of the semiconductor, again, uh, we have the silicon-based semiconductor, again, the germanium-based uh, semiconductor. And nowadays you can see with the help of the uh, polymer, the synthetic part, the, the semiconducting polymer materials are also possible to synthesize. By the same way, the different type of the, the smart materials are also there. We can think for the quantum dot. Uh, we can also think for the, the uh, nitylon, or we can say the smart material, which may change their shape, their color, their, their properties with respect to the different physical variables. So the broadly, the material can be classified into the groups, uh, the different groups. The groups are the metal, ceramic, polymer, composite, and semiconductor, the smart material, advanced material, nanomaterials, and so on and so on. So uh, you can see that the different type of the materials are used for the uh, different purposes. If I look for the construction of the building, Okay, in the case of this uh, building, you can see that the many uh, different type of the materials are used for the construction. We are using the concretes, we are using their sand, we are using the clay, we are using the polymer, we are using the ceramic, we are using the composites, we are using the, the bricks, we are using the different, different, different type of the materials. Okay, even the, the granite, okay, they are also to be considered as a one important group of the uh, material. Uh, so these are the, okay, you, I, I think it is not possible to list out that uh, how many types of the materials are used uh, for the construction of a small hut, or we can say a very uh, huge building like an entailia. Okay, so many, many modern materials are used in the uh, construction, or we can say construction of a house, construction of a breeze or construction of the uh, different buildings and uh, so on. By the same way, when we look for the inside the building, uh, you can see that the kitchen is there, the bathroom is there, and the living and other rooms are there. So in all the case, the different materials are used. If I look for the bathroom, the ceramic material is widely used. The different type of the uh, graded uh, ceramics are there. The newer and newer types of the ceramics may come in the world and the ceramic industry having a wide scope and the wide regime. By the same way, when we look for the, uh, the kitchen, okay, in the case of the kitchen, we are using the steel and the different type of the steel wares, the different type of the woods, the sunmica, formica, even the polymer based wood, uh, materials are also used for the uh, kitchen as well as the kitchen ware. So when we are looking for the uh, material, okay, we can consider the materials. The stone is a material, the, it incorporated the concrete. It also, uh, we can look for the uh, stone or the, the, the material which may use to, uh, what can say, manufacture the cement. So cement is also a, a one a material by the same way in the case of the paper, the concrete, the plastic, the bricks, glass, bone, even uh, the different type of the resins, uh, resins and uh, so on. So all is what I can say, it may comes in the group of an material. And in the case of the material, generally there are two types of material. One is to be called as a natural material, means which may available in the nature. You can take an example of an wood, you can take an example of an, uh, what I can say, gum and uh, so on. By the same way, it is possible uh, to synthesize the material. So in the case of the natural material, you can see that they have their own uh, uh, properties. By And when we are looking for the synthetic material, we can avail the same property, which is available in the case of an natural, the different synthetic methods, synthesis methods are there in the case of an material science. Now, if we're planning to define the material science, a branch of science, uh, that focuses on the material. It is an interdis interdisciplinary field uh, composed of the physics and the chemistry. Okay, it is not only the combinations of physics and chemistry. In the case of the material science, the metallurgy, 
yeah, even the instrumentation and so on so fields are also there. So it is a uh, hundred percent, uh, um, uh, what you can say, um, multidisciplinary branch of a uh, science. So material science is the, the relationship of the material properties of its composition and the structure. So schematically, sometimes we represent the material science by the different uh, three blocks. The, the, these three blocks are to be called as an structure property and the performance. And there is an interrelationship between the structure and property, and there is an interrelationship between the uh, property and the performance. Uh, I, I will give a little bit more emphasis at the appropriate period of time. Uh, this is uh, already uh, discussed during this uh, uh, session. So when we look for the material science, we can define the material science as the study of the properties of the materials and how those properties are determined by their compositions and the uh, structures. So uh, there is an interrelationship between the structures and the property and the performance at the time of the learning of a semiconductor material, you are aware that what the structure may play an important role in the case of the silicon and the germanium. The lattice structures of this silicon and germanium will give the semiconducting properties. So the, the, the different structures of a material having the different property and the different property are useful to avail the different type of the performance. So schematically, we can see say that the material science is an inter uh, having the different three block and the interrelationship between three block can be explained with the help of the material science. So when we look for the uh, material science, you can see that the dramatic role of the iron throughout the ages is not really the result of it being strong. Okay, you can see that it is a historical material. Iron is an, uh, still today we are using the iron on a larger scale. But you can see that in the case of the construction of a building, the iron use is different. And in the case of the magnet, or we can say, to avail the magnetism, the ion is uh, used. So ions have the different properties and this property is responsible or we can say is uh, available. It will give the different performances uh, with the help of the material science. We can change their property by using the basic laws of the material science. In reality, the ion has been imported uh, because we can change its property by heating as well as by cooling, by what you can say, uh, by carving and so on. The ability to change the properties and or behavior of a material is what makes the most material useful and these are the heart of the material science. So in the case of this material science, the manipulation of the structure and manipulation of the property is uh, possible by changing the different parameters, uh, we can avail the different uh, properties. Uh, so material science is an interdisciplinary study that contain, uh, that uh, uh, combines the metallurgy, physics, chemistry, and the engineering to solve the real world problems with real world material in an acceptable societal and economical manner. The engineering of the fantastic new material is not a given, but a natural outcloth. It is uh, here that the science and engineering almost touch. So in the case of the material science, whatever the desired property we are interested to avail from the material, we can synthesize this material, we can avail the type of the structure and the property by using the basic laws of the material science. Uh, generally, the material science uh, studies the crystals. We all are aware that the crystals are nothing, but it is the regular repetitions of an atom, a group of atoms, or the molecules. And in the case of this material science, we also study the crystals, uh, single crystals. We are aware that the, throughout the material, they are having the ideal structures or the arrangement of the atom in the case of the single crystals. The, uh, the base uh, used for the integrated circuits are the single crystals of silicon. We all are familiar with this fact. And to synthesize, or I can say to grow the single crystals in the laboratory, many methods are there. And with the help of this um, uh, different method, we can synthesize the single crystals in uh, laboratory. 
By the same way, the polycrystalline materials are also studied in the case of pen material science. Even the amorphous material is also studied with a greater detail in the case of the uh, uh, material science. So again, in the case of the crystals, we all are familiar that the solid state, the crystalline state having the, the uh, regular reputations in the case of the amorphous, the atoms are arranged in a random manner. By the same way, material science deals with the uh, different classes of materials, just like a metal, alloy, binary, trionary, and so on. By the same way, if we combine the metal and non-metal, it will give a new class of material. This class of material is to be called as a uh, ceramic. So ceramic is an, a, a, a new uh, type of the material, different type of ceramics are uh, fabricated or manufactured, and we are using the ceramics on a larger scale in our day-to-day -day activity. By the same way, when we, we uh, the material sciences also deals with the uh, macromolecules, or we can say the molecular crystals. The molecular crystals means the protein, the lipid, the glycerin, uh, triglyceride, cholesterols, these all materials are very large in size and such type of the material, uh, materials are to be called as a macromolecular uh, crystalline structure. And with the help of the development in the material science, we can avail the informations about the structures of the crystal, single crystals and macromolecular crystalline material. By the same way, in the case of the polymer, the chain of coatoms are there. We all are familiar with the different type of the polymer material. We are using the, the, the different poly, polymer material in our day-to-day -day, uh, activities, the plastics, rubber, and so on. It may come in the group of an, uh, polymer material. The, when we look for the composites, the composites are nothing, but it is the combinations of an, uh, two material. If we can combine the polymer with ceramic, we can combine the polymer uh, with the metal, we can combine the ceramic with the non-metal, and by using these kinds of uh, combinations, we can avail the composite material. So composite is a one important uh, class of the uh, materials. Now, when we look for the material sands, in the case of the material sands, we can see with the naked eyes, it is nothing but it is a the merging of the sands engineering, technology, instrumentation, and numerical uh, simulation. So most of the branch of the engineering may uh, uh, used uh, for the development of the newer material for the newer world. So when we look for the material science, the material science thinks for the nature of the constitutes. Okay, uh, we can uh, say that in some of the cases to avail the information about the property, we are looking for the electronic structure, you, we can take an example of a semiconducting material. By the same way, you can see that in another case, we are looking for the dipole to understand the magnetic property of a material. Uh, material. So if we are planning to look for the uh, different property, the different uh, constitutions are uh, used. So there is no single theory through which we can understand the material science as a whole. In some case, we are in the need to have the the atomic theory, in some case, we are in the need to have the electron theory, in some case, we are in uh, the need to have the particle theories or whatever the theory which may develop in the subject of physics or in the subject of uh, chemistry. So the material science also thinks for the what type of the bonds are present in the case of an material. Uh, as I mentioned that the material science is thinks for the nature of the constitute. It also deals with the, uh, the uh, what type of the bonds are present in the case of an material. We are aware that the primary bonds are the uh, ionic bond, uh, metallic bond, covalent bond, and uh, hydrogen bond. The different type of the uh, secondary bonds are also present in the case of the uh, materials. Uh, they also deals with their property, okay. So what the property this material have, the material sciences thinks for the property. In the case of the properties, we have the electrical property, magnetic property, optical property, um, and uh, so on. Uh, they also deals with their synthesis, okay. How we can uh, synthesize or manufacture the uh, material. So synthesis process is also important when we are looking for the material, okay. The cost effectiveness is also very much important in the case of the uh, material. 
by the same way the the materials are science also things for the effective use okay you can see that when we are looking for the magnet we are having the different choices for the magnet which magnet is more suitable to our application and which magnet is more effective for the desired uh, what you can say uh, ma magnetic uh, uh, property so the effective use is use is also an important criteria for the material science they also uh, think for the uh, prevention of the property so material science thinks for how we can protect the how we can prevent the uh, property which is available for the case of an uh, material science so material science is generally deals for the uh, structure so as i mentioned that in the case of the uh, structures we have the crystalline structure amorphous structures and uh, so on so material sciences deals with the uh, crystalline and amorphous and so other type of the uh, uh, structure by the same way in some case we are looking for the perfect crystal in some cases we are using the imperfect crystals majority of the crystals are the imperfect crystals in the case of the material science we are you are looking for the orderness and the disorderness of the material by the same way uh, it also deals with the phase uh, phase immixability so we are aware that the phase diagram is nothing but it is a tailoring process okay it is the, the whatever the role which may played by the maps in the geography the same role is placed in the case of the material science by the phase diagram so with the help of the phase diagram how we synthesize the material how we can what you can say avail and what type of the property is possible uh, that can be ascertain with the help of the reading of the phase diagrams so in the case of the phase diagram the phase mixability and the phase immixability are very much important by the same way when we look for the material uh, you can see that we can see the microstructures by using the optical microscope or by using the scanning electron microscope and uh, by the morphological investigations of the structures are possible in the case of the material science and for these purposes the microstructures are to be determined or to be read uh, to avail the certain properties from the uh, material by the same way material science is also deals with the process in some case the cost effectiveness of the process is also important the quality of the material are also important and to avail the certain property or the quality of the material we have to what i can say keep the uh, um, in our mind that what type of the process will give us the desired property to the material by the same way the reaction rate is also an important criteria some of the reactions which may uh, take uh, promptly and some of the reaction it will take a few uh, what you can say years to complete so in the case of this material synthesis or we can say to avail the materials synthetically the reaction rate is also an important criteria and material sciences deals with this uh, reaction rate uh, criteria too so when we look for the materials the materials are the integral parts of the human culture and the civilization history of the human civilization and the social de development is rely on the material science okay or what type of the materials are available and used by the society or the societal people uh, so the development is rely or rely on the availability of the material so you can see that today we are living in the nano world and we are using the nano material on a larger scale but few few thousand years ago such type of the materials are not possible or not available in the world so the civilization or the development of the civilization is rely on the material science the substances those are accessible and processed to exhibit the desired property is to be called as an materials so materials are as one of the primary resource of the mankind materials affects a broad spectrum of the human activity material play a vital role in this modern age of science and uh, technology now we will look that how the material sciences affect the civilization even our history has been defined by the materials we use okay we are very much familiar the meaning of the stone is is the material which is used uh, as a basic material for the development of the society or we can say the civilization uh, stone is used by the man the age of the man we survive based on the materials uh, we control 
the stone is naturally occurring material the special type of the rock skins and woods okay are the in the case of that the stones are used on a wider scale by the same way the bronze age is there uh, in the case of the bronze age the casting and the forging of the bronze is very much important by the same way the iron age is there in which we are looking for the high temperature furnaces or to even make a purification or to avail the different uh, metals or we can say the non metal or to uh, mixing the metal the different type of the uh, what you can say uh, furnaces are preferred uh, for the furnace we are in the need to have the high temperature and in the case of this we are using the iron on a larger scale the steel is as we are aware that steel is an alloy uh, so in the case of this the strength of the material is very much important and the steel having the high strength uh, so uh, these are the different uh, easies uh, in which the civilization has used the stone bronze iron and steel at a, uh, that uh, during that period of time by the same way the non ferrous and the polymer age aluminum titanium nickel uh, they are useful for the aerospace the, the they are uh, to be called as a non ferrous age by the same way in the case of this information era or the information age the silicon is widely used the micro electronics is based or the platform used for the integrated circuits are the silicon uh, so we are using the silicon on a larger scale for the integrated circuit chip and we are aware that in the case of the microelectronics it is possible to uh, fabricate or it is possible to accommodate millions and millions of transistors on the silicon uh, chip and by using such type of the silicon chip we are uh, looking for the ipad computer laptops and so on then the one other is is to be there they are to be called as in plastic and the composite cell uh, a the composite is the food preservation housing aerospace and the higher speed materials the different type of the plastic and composite materials are used so you can see that long before the the chassis of the car is made from the iron but nowadays you can see that the chassis of the car scooter and the vehicles they are made from the uh, plastic materials now uh, we are looking for a new age this age is to be called as an exotic material age nowadays the exotic materials are used on a larger scale for the synthesis of the uh, different uh, uh, goods okay the nano materials and bio material age uh, so uh, nano material we all are aware that it is a material whose dimensions are in the regime of the 10 raised to minus 9 uh, uh, meter by the same way in the case of the bio material now the 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 artificial uh, skin artificial bone and artificial uh, tissues are possible to synthesize uh, so this may comes in the group of an bio material uh, group okay or this age is to be called as an uh, bio material uh, age uh, so this is the uh, what you can say the development uh, uh, of the different ages in the material science uh, you can see that the stone age the span okay is of the this age is the 35000 years if we look for the bronze age the duration is the 6300 uh, years iron age is 3300 uh, years and nowadays you can see that the polymer age okay so the span of the different ages are tremendously reduces okay you can see that if we look for the stone age okay the development is was very 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 uh, small or we can say the speed is extremely small but nowadays you can see the huge development has been taken place because of the newer and newer type of the materials may comes in the world if we look for the silicon if we look for the polymer if we look for the composite ceramics and so on okay within a decade okay even in a we did a, a two or three years you can see the huge development has been taken place because of this information era or the it uh, era 
Now we are, what you can say, uh, avail the fragments of the, uh, how the material sciences penetrate the uh, civilization, how the material sciences help uh, for the, uh, the, the development in the civilization. Man has been studying the material since before uh, living in the cave. Due to the lack of communication, early man spent the hundreds and millions uh, experimenting with the stone tools. So the stone is used for a very few thousand years, okay, uh, for availing the different, uh, uh, what you can say, uh, the, to the transformation of the human or from the monkey to the uh, man. Okay, the first metal tools was appeared uh, perhaps only the 6,000 years uh, ago. Uh, the stone age are the, the majority of the natural resources are used in the uh, stone age. We can take an example of an Indus Valley uh, contained the numerous numerical natural resources that were an important part of the Harappan civilization. Uh, rivers, uh, resources included are the fresh waters, the timbers, uh, stones, and so on. Then the gold, silver, semi-precious stones, and even the different marine resources are used in the uh, stone age. And the span of the stone age is uh, 30,000 years. The people living in the caves and hunting with the stone made weapon. So human was using the different type of the weapons and these weapons are made from the stone. Before the two, uh, 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 20, uh, two lakh years BC, the discovery of the fire was there, the said to be the most significant discovery in the human civilization. However, till the time the fire was controlled to contain and utilize the heat, it was not much more significant. The containing the fire, uh, fire was not possible without the material. Uh, so people have started to use the, uh, the clay uh, for uh, what you can say, freeze of the uh, uh, fire, the ports, and now we have all kinds of the means to control and contain the uh, fire. Now, these are the uh, different photographs through which we can see that the, the stone is the, and which the people, okay, they are not using the uh, cloth, they are not eating the vegetables and so on, a majority of the non veg materials are to be used. In the case of the Stone Age, uh, the, uh, the stones or the bricks are widely used. The examples are the, the different streets. Okay, you can see the well, uh, street, uh, baths, even the uh, many buildings, okay, many, many, uh, what you can say, houses are fabricated uh, with the use of the bricks. The pyramid, okay, you are using the, uh, the uh, different material, clay and so on, by the same way, we can see that the stones are also used for the, uh, what you can say, different uh, buildings, or we can say the carving of the stone will give the statues and so on. So these are the, some of the uh, examples of the stone age. Uh, even for the preservation of the uh, food, okay, the special type of the clay based mix, clay mix uh, stones are used for the ornamental purposes, the different type of the stones are used. The different ways, uh, ways is also prepared by using the uh, clay and the uh, stone. Uh, then the people have started to use the, uh, before the uh, 5,500 years, the people have started to use the different type of the metals. The first metal was uh, discovered uh, just before 5,500 year. The copper and gold is also used on a wider, wider scale. The 5000 BC, the material processing has started. The people have started to think about the annealing and the sapping, uh, throwing the copper into the campfire and hammering in the early days. So the different type of the carving is made on the different metal by using the annealing and the uh, sapping. Uh, B B uh, 4000 BC, melting and casting of the metal is possible. The people have started to melt the uh, material and prepare the liquid. And with the help of this liquid, whatever the shape and size they are interested to give, uh, there it is possible. The melting of the gold to give the different shapes as uh, in the year of 4000 BC, 3500 BC, reduction of the copper from its ore, the Nile Valley, the dung, uh, dawn of the metallurgy, perhaps the discovery of the uh, by chance uh, much before by the early uh, porter. 
Now, uh, the metal is we have the bronze and iron, uh, non technical changes are made. Iron, uh, still today, we are using the iron on a larger scale because this is a dramatic material available everywhere. Tools and utensils are uh, and during that period of time, it satisfies the needs of the human civilization at those times. The first metal tools appeared perhaps only uh, 6,000 years ago. Now, in the case of the metal, the metal is the discovery of the Iceman in the Alps in 1991 gave the significant information on the early copper age. He was carrying a copper axe. It is dated at about 5,300 years when the first pyramid were built. As our knowledge of material grows, so does the sophistication of our tool. The more sophistication of our tools we have, the more sophisticated our accomplishment is also the more uh, sophisticated. Then the alloy metal combinations are possible uh, in the 3000 uh, BC, the discovery of the alloy, the combinations of the metal, mixing of the tin with the copper, we, it will give the bronze and the bronze is, is also in, is sometime is to be considered as an independent age. So uh, 1450 BC, the iron wheel was discovered and the iron making process was also uh, the revolutionary change is made on the warfare and the uh, cultivation. Uh, 1500 AD, the invention of the blast furnace, the production of the pig iron from the ores are possible. In 1855 AD, uh, Sir Henley Besmer, the Besmer uh, steel making plant, uh, patent was done. In the 20th century, many other steel making processes are possible, electric R and other qualities uh, through which we can avail uh, the high quality, high graded uh, steel. And you are, we are aware that the steel is used on a wider scale. So these are the some of the examples of the uh, different metal which may use for the trading, which may use as a coin, which may use for the exchange of the goods. And some of the precious metals are used as a currency in uh, uh, that specific era. So you can see that a marvelous uh, uh, carving is uh, possible uh, with the metal, the different type of the uh, warfare is also made by the uh, different uh, uh, metal material. So the Tipu Sultan sword is a familiar uh, example. Uh, you can see that what type of the strength this material have. So in the case of this uh, material, the iron uh, peeler is also an example. Still today, we do not sure, uh, say that what type of material is uh, used. Okay, It may in the regime of an uh, nano material, but at that time, the nano was not a coin word, it was not so much of, uh, popular. Even in the case of the ornament, uh, the different uh, type of the metals are used. Uh, so the metal is used on a larger scale. The, for the purpose of the liquid, preservation of the liquid, the different type of the metal base uh, uh, vessels are prepared. Even the uh, on a, a hard and the uh, hollow uh, toys are also prepared by using the uh, metal. So these are the examples of the different uh, metal. Uh, gold is a uh, precious metal. The people have also uh, think and to use the gold for many uh, purposes. Now, this is the modern metal. Uh, still today, we are using the metal on a larger scale. Our surgical uh, knife, surgical uh, scissors, and even the garden uh, tools, okay, for the cutting of the stone, the different type of the metals are used. So some of the metals are very precious. Some of the metals, they are very modern. They are having the modern applications in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, now we are looking for the 20th uh, century. The 20th century is the golden era, okay, uh, because the whole process was introduced uh, in 1886 AD. Uh, during the 1890 and 1 uh, 910, the revelation of the transportation uh, was there. Automobile is uh, developed on a larger scale. The aeroplanes are also, uh, what you can say, uh, design of the aeroplane is also proposed in this regime. In, uh, in 1939, the process of making the nylon, uh, so sometimes this is, is to be called as a uh, polymery, 
is the different type of the polymer materials are prepared and the Kevlar is a very hard material, nylon is a soft and hard material. Uh, then, then the people have started to think about the electronic revolution. Uh, it was begins in 1940. Uh, so we are very much familiar with the semiconducting material and uh, we are very much familiar with the transistors, field effect transistor, MOSFET transistors, integrated circuit, single layer integrated circuit and multi-layer integrated circuits and so on. So now there is a tremendous uh, uh, development has been taken place within uh, six decades in the regime of an uh, electronics. Uh, so this era is also uh, sometimes the peoples are uh, to be used. This is this is to be called as an electronic era. In 1960, the ultra pure silicon uh, through the John refining method, we can avail this material. And with the help of this material, we can use this silicon as a platform for the integrated circuit. Then the people have also started to think about the non-ferrous material. The different type of the non-ferrous material is uh, uh, historically used and nowadays certain type of non-ferrous material are having the many modern applications. The, for the construction of the mall, the huge mall, the different type of the non-ferrous materials are used. Optical bench and to avail the huge research uh, on the laser the special type of the optical bench are prepared by using the non-ferrous material. Now, the people have uh, started to think about the superconductivity. In 1980, the different type of the superconductors are prepared. And these kinds of superconductors, OK, Meissner effects, the type 1 and type 2 superconductors, and the different theories are developed uh, by with the use of the material science. So material science is, deals with the fabrications of the uh, superconductor. And you can see that the superconductors are widely used in the case of MRI machine. They are useful for the brain scan. Uh, they are also useful for the maglev uh, train. Uh, so in the, the, this was developed within the what can say three decade. And there is a huge development in the uh, superconducting industries and the fabrications of the superconducting material. The different type of the polymers are also uh, fabricated during this polymer race. Uh, so you can see that we are using the uh, polymer material uh, on a, a small scale as industries as well as on a larger scale. The melamine, the polymer material, PVC, and the different uh, synthetic uh, uh, polymer materials are used. They are widely useful for the rubber industries. The, the majority of the automobile uh, uh, vehicles, okay, they are using the rubbers. So rubber may also comes in this group. The, uh, even the polymer, okay, nanomaterial based polymers are also possible to uh, synthesize. Then the people have also uh, classified the silicon age, as I mentioned, that it is nowadays, it is possible to fabricate millions and millions of transistors on the integrated circuit chip. We have the uh, DIP, dual in pin type of integrated circuit, multi uh, layer integrated circuit. And nowadays we are aware that microprocessor and microcontroller are the uh, material or, or we can say the chip which may use for the CPU, which may use for the computer, which may use for the purpose of the uh, laptop and the microelectronic gadget. So the basic requirement for these chips are the uh, silicon, or we can say the substrate material at the place of the silicon. Nowadays, you can see that we are also thinking for the uh, flexible uh, material. Uh, so different type of the microelectronics based gadgets are uh, commercialized or synthesized and manufactured, and they are available in the market. We are using the many newer and newer type of microelectronic gadget. The basic material are the silicon, or we can say the organic material, or we can say the macromolecules are used to synthesize the chip or we can say the chip for the microelectronic gadget. Nowadays, in the case of this, the one new age is started. Uh, this age is to be called as in plastic age. You can see that we are availing the uh, different type of the uh, plastic gadgets and we are using the plastic on a larger scale. Uh, for just for example, the, the mobile keys, the different type of the racks, even the different type of the raincoats and so on that may have fabricated uh, with the help of the uh, plastics. Even in the case of these polymer industries, the newer and newer type of the polymers are developed and they're having the uh, very, what you can say, hard or as well as the soft in uh, use. 
and as per the applications we can use the different type of the plastic for the different applications nowadays in the case of this uh, uh, material science the composite is there so you can see that in the case of the smart car the different type of the composite materials are used uh, to uh, what you can say avail a very good quality of the speaker the different type of the uh, composite materials are there even uh, for the uh, what you can say board or the hulls of the board the different type of the uh, silk composite materials are uh, used even in the uh, repairing of the teeth the different uh, type of the composites are already uh, fabricated whatever the color we can match the uh, color of the teeth with the natural color of the uh, patient's uh, teeth uh, it is possible by using the uh, uh, so in the case of this composite uh, world okay many many types of the composites are fabricated even uh, with the help of the nanotechnology we can also uh, synthesize the nano ceramics nano composite nano polymers and so on so these are the some of the exotic materials that are useful uh, in the different uh, branches uh, or we can say advancement uh, of the designs the different type of the exotic materials are uh, used uh, so this age is also to be called as an uh, exotic material uh, age uh, so why we study the material because it is an applied scientist or an engineer must make the material science the material selections uh, in service performance detection and uh, for uh, economics. Uh, so these are the, uh, okay, uh, I think uh, uh, this is uh, sufficient uh, by looking to the time constraints. Okay, I think I, I will end the lectures at this end.